Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and this is going to be on a new holster that I've been uh, trying out for the past couple of weeks. Uh, I caught the uh, a couple reviews on this holster here on YouTube from uh, some fellow YouTubers and I was really interested. Uh, if you guys know and have been following my channel, you know that my normal EDC is an inside the waistband remora holster with a SIG P238. So I've been actually contemplating changing that up a little bit. I've been wanting to uh, try something outside the waist. Uh, and I've been wanting to carry my uh, Glock 23 that you see here on the screen. So I went ahead and contacted um, the YouTuber that's making these holsters. And I asked him to send me one so I could try it out and see what it's all about. And he, uh, he was gracious enough to go ahead and do that. So uh, I was really happy. So let me go ahead and show you the, uh, the holster here. Um, this is the holster right there. Really, really awesome design on the holster. Uh, it's made of uh, two pieces of kydex. You have uh, the colored kydex on the outside and the black kydex on the inside. But the great thing about it is it's, uh, it's actually uh, custom molded to the particular firearm. So uh, let me go ahead and give you the uh, YouTuber's information. Uh, this is his YouTube channel here. He goes by Arm Civilian 556 uh, You can call him AC for short. And uh, really, really awesome guy. I mean, uh, you know, we we uh, PM back and forth, and uh, you know, he actually asked me to give him a call, so I gave him a call. We talked on the phone a little bit. He just kind of gave me a little bit of, of of his philosophy on holsters and why he got into making them and stuff like that. And you know, I think we kind of both agreed in uh, what it is that we wanted from our holsters. You know, uh, being both gun guys, and you know, you guys can relate to this. We go through a lot of different holsters to try and find the best fit, the best carry, the best comfort, things like that. But you know, uh, sometimes you end up spending so much money on these high end. Um, you know, big name brand company holsters. So his idea was, you know, I'm going to come up with something that's going to be great. Um, you know, it's going to fit just as good. It's going to work just as good, but it's going to be at a lower cost, but, you know, without sacrificing fit and finish and anything like that. And I don't know if you guys can tell from here, you know, that's basically what he got here. This is the CX2 model. He actually has a couple different models based on what kind of uh, firearm you have and what kind of carry method you want. This one has an uh, actual slight cant forward to it and it is designed to be uh, worn right-handed but you're also able to, uh, to switch it if you want to do a cross draw to your left hand which is really nice. Um, the, like I said, the fit and finish is awesome. You know, there's, uh, you can see it's, it's really, really nice, um, nice design. Uh, wears in really nicely, and it does have generous holes for um, you know for the for the belt to go through your your uh, belt loops, uh, which is one thing that I found. Depending on the type of belt that you wear, sometimes these holes are a little small, so you really really have to fight to feed the belt through it. Uh, not in the case of this one, you know, it'll definitely um, fit up to uh, a little bit wider belts because you know a lot of us wear specific belts to carry our gear and stuff like that. Uh, the coloring on this, like I said, it's a uh, desert digital camouflage. It's really really nice. I mean. I mean, it, you know, it, it definitely, um, you know, brings a little bit of extra added uh, flair to the actual um, uh, holster. But the best thing is just the way it carries. Uh, here's my Glock 23 again. And as you guys can see, that's empty. And basically, the gun clicks in there really nicely. Uh, it's form-fitted to the gun. Now, um, one thing that I did want to point out is, like I said, he does um, make these form fitted to the particular firearm. So uh, if you notice, a lot of uh, of your um, uh, you know people that are starting out doing certain things, whether it's holsters or or cases or anything like that, generally they they'll try and use you know the particular knives or firearms that they already have readily accessible to them. Uh, what AC has actually gone out and done is he's gone out and tried to purchase as many blue guns, if you guys know what those are, the blue training guns, as he can, just so that he has that inventory already readily accessible. That way, if you do ask him to make you a holster, um, you know, he'll, he'll have more blue guns to be able to do those. He doesn't have them, you know, I've seen him, you know, I've heard some of his videos, he's gone as far as to go out and purchase that blue gun to be able to make that holster for you. Now, uh, one of the best things is not only is this made in the U.S., made by a fellow YouTuber, but the price is very, very reasonable. Uh, anywhere from 49 or 45 to 
to 55 depending on the materials if you want carbon fiber uh, he's starting to do some uh, lizard leather skin ones too and um, and as of recently he's actually starting to make um, knife uh, holsters as well so you know if you do carry a gun and you carry a knife as well you know he's he's kind of hitting all those demographics which i think is really really cool so definitely you can tell that this guy puts a lot of heart and soul into uh his product uh the retention is really good on the holster as you guys saw there clicks in really nicely uh it doesn't go anywhere you know they're shaking shaking the gun pretty well and it's uh it's holding in there really tightly which is nice but it's uh you know it's really accessible when you pull it out and it's good to go now um he is uh he's also making some inside the waistband holsters which um you know like i said i was kind of transitioning out of that but um you know the i've seen some of the models that he's making and um you know i've been wanting to try one of those out as well so uh hopefully um you know, you guys will, will give him a shot and see what he's all about. Again, you know, it's really good that it's a fellow YouTuber. Uh, like I said, they're uh, they're made here in the U.S. You know, he makes all the holsters for for you, and uh, he's got some pretty pretty quick turnaround time as well, which is really nice. Obviously, depending on what you want, if he has the colors available and stuff like that, um, you know, you can discuss that with him. But for the most part, uh, I would definitely urge you guys to check him out. You know, like I said, I did find uh, some other reviews that other YouTubers have done. And, you know, if you want to check those out also, you can you can definitely tell that this guy is, is putting out a really, really quality um, product out there. You know, it's it's not something that, you know, that you wouldn't mind, you know, spending the, uh, you know, the 40 to $50 on. Because like, you know, like he mentioned, like I just mentioned, you know, we're already doing this, uh, trying to find that perfect fit holster and stuff like that. And as you guys can see, you know, there are a lot of other Kydex holsters out on the market. But this one has, you know, with just the contours and stuff like that, uh, it's, it's, it's got a flair of its own. It does wrap really, really nicely around the body. And, uh, you know, it gives you a really, really concealed look. Uh, that was my biggest thing, especially transitioning from inside the waistband to outside the waistband. I definitely did not want the firearm to print. Uh, or very very minimal printage from the firearm and definitely this holster achieved that so this is uh, like I said the CX2 model uh, the gentleman's name is armed civilian 556 here on YouTube he goes by AC so definitely shoot him a line uh, check out his channel uh, he's got a reviews on all his holsters and and uh, like I said the uh, the knife holsters are his uh, his newest ones. So if you're a knife guy, if you're a gun guy, uh, male, female, whatever it is, you know, go ahead and check them out because you're definitely gonna like these holsters. All right, uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, and thanks for watching.